Democrats who would generally be civil libertarians are refusing to speak out because they don't want to be seen as helping Trump. Republicans suddenly have discovered civil liberties when it comes to defending Trump. And so it's so important that somebody be out there and make the nonpartisan civil liberties case. And that's my job. You have represented some complicated and seemingly unsavory people in the world. That's my right? job. Right? You're not representing Donald Trump, but he is complicated. And, he is complicated. And in many ways, in some people's eyes, unsavory. Do any of these people have anything in common in terms of their behavior in moments of crisis like this? They think that the keys to their success that made them what they are should also be used to try to get them out of legal trouble. A million people have told President Trump not to tweet. His response is always, tweeting got me elected president. Don't tell me what to do. Right. I'm going to continue to tweet. And that's a mistake. Listen to your lawyer. He may not be as rich as you, but he or she knows how to get you out of trouble. You don't. Right now, this morning, Jim Cummings' book is now on sale. What do you think of Jim Cummings? I thought very highly of Jim Comey, but if you ask me to describe Jim Comey in one word, coward. He didn't have the guts to tell the president to his face, no, you can't ask me for loyalty. No, you can't tell me to drop the investigation of Flynn. He's hiding behind a blue shade in the White House. This is our chief law enforcement officer. The man is a coward.